500 health and skin care products for complementary care in hospitals, clinics, and for the laymen. She consults privately and blogs her research at www.aromahealthcaretexas.com. so much 
they don't come out well with steam distillation. And one like jasmine, let's say, that's very fragrant, it doesn't come out at all in heat. So it has to be made in the absolute, and it's extracted through alcohol, and the first thing you get is a concrete. And a concrete is a semi-liquid or a hard, waxy mass because um, flowers have a lot of wax in them. And they, these are actually, this is in a little bit of alcohol, and it breaks up this concrete, and you can see where it's going clear here. That's your absolute. And here's another um, example, and I want you all to smell this later on because this, this is tuberose, and a lot of people have not smelled what tuberose. They've heard about it, but this is the real thing. I want to, I want to caution you about some of the things you buy um, commercially. The reason I make all this stuff is because I work in hospitals and I work with people with special conditions and the one thing I can do is give you quality. So I actually am making my own absolutes now because the stuff I have seen commercially, you can buy tuberose and you spend hundreds of dollars on it and it smells like dirt and I'm not kidding. And you don't get your money back. So um, you will see by smelling some of these very fragrant absolute essential oils they're essential oils. They're just made a little bit differently. And then you will actually get the memory you have of that product. I didn't know what tuberose smelled like. I heard about it, but until I actually made one and smelled it and found out what it really smelled like, I had no idea. And you get tuberose in a mass, in a hard mass, and you have to break it down and um, get it to a clear product that you actually make into an absolute. An absolute is ready to go. It has an alcohol base. It is 190 proof alcohol. You know, I'm, I have a state license lab, so I can I can buy that kind of stuff. Um, it's basically Everclear is what you're talking about. That's 190 proof. If you're working with children, or you, we don't use alcohol, we use the oil base, okay? The reason we use alcohol, one reason is it can evaporate, it helps to diffuse and evaporate on the skin. What we want is a perfume that is not overwhelming and you can smell it, you know, over there for days. You know, everybody knows you buy your dime store mm -hmm. perfume. That's not what we want. They people have to get a little close, they get it allures them, it brings them in, it's like there's something about this person I really like. It brings out the best in you. You want that, you want those essential oils and absolutes to actually melt with you and bring you out because it's your body chemistry it is bringing out. It's not all about sex, but it is about intimacy as far as how we interact with people and how we interact with ourselves. And again, it's about taking us through whatever change we have to be. If it's grief, if it's uh, you have a new job, if it's you're making friends and moving, it really wouldn't matter. That's the kind of things that perfumes are really supposed to do. It's really not just about going out to dinner. Okay? But I got some for that too. Thank you. 
Okay, we're going to start with actually a very vanilla base. A base is what holds your perfume. If you do not have a base, it will not hold. And you just put lavender in this, you're going to smell lavender for a very short time, and that's it. It's gone. Or you just put some lavender on, on you, and you know by the time you get to dinner, you're not going to be able to smell it. And even worse, the guy who's paying for it may not be able to. So this is important for us. Um, and you guys need to know what we're up to. <laughs> some of the very best perfumers are men. <laughs> what? So vanilla is a good base. We're going to make a cord, which means there's three four, maybe six different scents we put together because they complement each other, okay? Or they jazz each other up, however we want to do it. Vanilla is a very familiar scent. You will not just scent, smell vanilla in your, your total perfume, but it will be the last thing that gives off, and it will hold down your rose and your bergamot and all your other things that you put in there so you can actually smell them for a while. It, it will lift off in petals off of you, off your body, okay? Instead of just one big smack, I smell something, you're going to have something lifting off of you. This is important because it's just like change. We can't just wham bam through change. Change has to evolve and, and taking steps, and that's what we're doing. So, did we pass out paper? Was that mm -hmm. Oh, good, that's like black color. <laughs> <laughs> and she packed everything? Let's still be at home otherwise. So, we are going to make a base that's going to hold down our perfume. Is anybody just totally confused before I start? You got it? Okay. We're going to put vanilla absolute. There is no vanilla essential oil, okay? There is no such thing. It is a, a black mass of chunk. It looks like a tar. And it takes a while to get the absolutes to break <coughs> down in alcohol. That's what we use. It doesn't smell like alcohol. It, yeah, it smells like vanilla. But again, vanilla is a very strong scent, and a lot of our base notes are strong scents. So we have extenders with these, okay? So I'm actually giving you perfume um, rem uh, recipes. Write these down, girl. And this is for a one ounce bottle. You're going to use drops of your vanilla absolute. Does everybody have pen and paper that wants it? Then we're going to use a vanilla extender, which is Peru balsam. All of your balsams, whether it's Tulum balsam, Peru balsam, all your balsams smell like vanilla. But they're not. They come from trees, and the trees are made, they're wounded, and they actually produce this goo. And we take that and make an absolute and get it in a liquid form, and that comes out as pure balsam. To me, it, it, it gives you different layers of a vanilla scent, too. So then, Skyrax comes from the benzoin tree. It's called benzoin Skyrax. And we're going to use 75 drops of that. Uh, we've got a great big ounce bottle. And, you know, we're, we're going to have half of it with my alcohol, my 190 proof, don't ever drink that. Um, or we're going to have an oil of your choice, a carrier oil, okay? Don't use olive oil, you're going to smell like a salad. So, <laughs> so that's our base. Now to make a true perfume, it actually takes up to a month for it to cure. Remember, as some of y'all have bought some of my little um, blends like decongest and different things for your health, and I say, if I make it up for you at my house, if you come over, and I say, wait three hours for it to cure, that's all it takes for eucalyptus, which you never use in perfumery. But for these very highly delicate, suddenly things, we're going to let them blend two weeks for sure, okay? So what you can do is you can make your very vanilla up and put it in a bottle, okay? Put it in a separate bottle. If you want to make your perfume all at first, that's fine, but you really don't know what that smells like. 
And as you're dropping that in, this is Judy's blend, okay? But you may only need 29 drops. You know, when you, you're, you're dropping one at a time and you smell, you smell, you smell. Okay? You get tired of smelling, you, put, you get some wool and you kind of put your nose in it and, and this is not something we share with other people. But you kind of blow into the, the wool. You don't blow your nose, but you kind of... <laughs> about three times yep. and that works. It helps to clear some of that so you can smell better. You're building an olfactory memory. Most people do not have a good memory. They cannot smell subtle scents. <coughs> you know, they'll grab my stuff and I mean it's like, there's <laughs> get the nose hairs out of there. <laughs> Oh, I 
it's not time to be, no, now it's Kuribas, or no, it's going to meld, it's going to evolve into another being, another volatile living thing. Um, so that would still go along with this delicious food-based type aroma. Vanilla reminds us of food and grandmas and good memories, you know. My grandparents, French butter was from Italy, so I was smelling garlic, not vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> but I had vanilla any day. For a green note, we could use something like blue, uh, black spruce or tarragon. Tarragon is a wonderful, and it's essential oil. It's not an absolute, but believe me, we mix and we mix these things together, and they work really well. And the way I use tarragon is, is a, a, just a plain steam distilled essential oil. It has kind of a spicy note to it. You put that in there, and it's like it gives it a green scent, and the black spruce does too. Now you're not going to put a lot of it in there, okay? Let's just try one drop or two. You know, first thing you do after you get that one drop is you give it a few minutes and you see what it, you know, you just pass it over your nose. Again, we're not cooking it to our nose. And see what you think. And then I would wait at least 48 hours capped, and we use caps that um, have, you know, an insert in here. It, um, essential oils eat rubber, so we don't use a whole lot of that. Although today we did bring some with, just for today, that have a rubber top on there. So we can dose some out or whatever. I have a quick question. Yes. Um, the alcohol that's 193, is that something you get? It's a perfume. store or it's, a liquor store? It's perfume. <laughs> now, if you buy it, you buy perfume alcohol. Okay. If you go to a, a store to get it, you would have to go to like a liquor store and buy Everclear. And it's going to have a little bit more of an alcoholic scent. It's okay. okay. Because that just comes off at first. Okay. But that's, you know, you can use that. Again, don't put it anywhere where somebody will mix it up. <laughs> <laughs>
things for hospitals and you know patients and you can't give them a bunch of chemicals or something adulterated. And sometimes the people selling it are selling somebody's product they don't even know it's adulterated. You take a drop of your essential oil, this will not work with an absolute or a concrete because they very often have color. But you take a drop of your essential oil, you put it on a totally white piece of paper.